welcome welcome back to my youtube channel you guys thank you thank you so much for hopping on today's topic that i want to talk to you about um and you guys know that i don't talk about things that i haven't experienced or been through or whatever but today's topic that i want to talk about is stop being so damn hard on yourself at the end of the day i hear people re like talk about being regretful all the time at men man i wish i knew knew this before i wish i knew that before i wish i did did, did things differently and they'd be so freaking hard on themselves dwelling on what they should have could have would have done at the end of the day when you can turn around and say that life is not happening to me life is happening for me and that everything that i experience in life good bad setback whatever it be break up what at lose a job whatever it be hard times whatever it be good times everything is a learning lesson everything is giving you an opportunity to level up in your life right especially when it's times of hardship when it's times of challenges when it's times of obstacles all those times are giving you great opportunities to open new doors to make space for new opportunities to grow to evolve and this took a very long time for me to understand this because i i, I always used to cry to my mom or I cry to people that i know and say man what am i doing so wrong like why is god punishing me when is this gonna happen for me like why god me why 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 and i kept saying man i wish i did things differently i wish i i, I did this differently when i was younger i wish i did this differently or why couldn't i have known this or what you know and i kept asking all the wrong questions that was actually beating myself up that was actually beating down my worth it was actually beating down my value it was actually beating me down mentally and emotionally and a lot of times people do this to themselves right we sit there it's sit there whether you're going through a divorce or whether you lost your job or some challenging times are happening to you you keep beating yourself up and that's not doing anything for you but putting you through a dark a spiral of a darker and darker hole right when at the end of the day all god is asking is for you to look towards him and have faith right what's the definition of faith the definition of faith is knowing right and believing when not seeing right that and it's the same thing a laws of attraction if you don't believe in god right but I'm a strong believer of God now, and it took me a very long time to understand, to just keep my eye and my focus on God and understand that walking in faith is not needing to know, right, that it's going to happen, but believing and trusting that it is going to happen, that it is possible, that we are created whole and complete, that everything that we desire outside of us is inside of us. It's just the thought, and it's just the way that we're thinking of things and the value that we put on things is what makes it so important right because a great example is money money is just paper but it's the energy it's the thought it's the emotions it's everything that we have with inside of us that we put towards on that that paper right to value it so much to see that it can do things for us and and, and with, knowing that you have all that with inside of you right when you can stop beating yourself up and understanding that everything that you desire and you want outside of you is already inside of you and you start asking the right questions of what can I learn from this instead of beating yourself down and putting yourself down is when you can evolve to show the universe or show God that you are ready for those great things that you desire and you want. That you're ready for better. You're ready to open new doors because why? You are showing God and you are showing the universe that you learned the valuable lessons that you needed to learn to obtain those things. Because a lot of times we want a better job. We want a better relationship. We want this and we want that. And we want all these great things to level up, but we're not willing to do the internal work. We're not willing to let go and release our release the control because a lot of times all these things that you desire and all these things you is out of your control. The only thing that you have control of because you can't control another person to see your worth, to see your value in that job or in that relationship. All you can do is control you. All you can do is control what your value and how you see yourself and how you see your self-worth and what you see you have with inside of you to bring to the table to that relationship that you want or to that job you want or to that abundance of money you want. Because at the end of the day, how many times have you heard stories of people winning the lottery 
and then losing it like this in a year they're broke again why because they didn't have that capacity that that capacity within their mind to obtain all that wealth and, and and to to build it right but that was a learning lesson for them right so everything in life is a learning lesson when you can really look yourself in the mirror and understand that hey we have everything that we desire we want outside of us inside of us and that everything that we experience good or bad is just great opportunities to learn great things to make room for bigger and better things to come in because when we are able to to look at life as a learning lesson and to learn the lessons that we need to level up we are showing god we are showing the universe that we are preparing ourselves for those great blessings that we are we know that we are are worthy of them so we're not going to put ourselves down we are not going to belittle ourselves we're not going to say bad bad things to ourselves or negative things about ourselves because we're we are showing the universe and god that we are ready we are ready because we learned we we, we took a step back and we're not allowing the outside world to control us that we learned valuable lessons with inside of ourselves that we are abundant we are whole and we are complete we are not lacking anything because the universe and, and god does not like lack it does not like that you always are complaining or feeling lack that nothing is ever enough and, and nothing is ever good enough because what you're showing to the universe is that when god or the universe provides what it is that you want you're still not going to be happy you're still not going to feel complete you're still going to feel lack so what the hell is the point to give you what you want if you're constantly always going to feel lack and complain about what you don't have in front of you so when Life throws you th throws you situations, right? And throw throws things at you. It's time to wake the fuck up and say to yourself, what do I need to learn? What is the valuable lessons inside of this? And when you can really turn around and say when shit hits the fan or things come your way and you could turn around and say, man, you know what? Thank you. Live in gratitude. Thank you that this is happening to me because it's giving me an opportunity to level up and make room for bigger and better things to come in my life, right? And be so be grateful. And then when you can turn around and learn, say ask yourself, what is the lesson that's trying to be learned here, right? How how is this trying to teach me a lesson? And then when you can also thank the other person for being a part of your life of that lesson, whether it was a job experience, whether it was a friendship that went wrong or anything that went bad or if it went good, Thank those people for being a part of your journey, to being a part of your chapter, to learn the valuable lessons you need to learn in order to grow, in order to level up inside of your life for bigger and better things to come into your life. So it's all about taking a step back and saying to yourself, life is not happening, saying to yourself, life is not happening to you, life is happening for you. That these are great, amazing opportunities coming inside of your life to teach you valuable lessons, to make new, make room for new and amazing, better things to come inside of your life. So when you can honestly take your mind off of all the negativity that life throws at you, and look at it in a positive sense, change that negative into a positive, you are now gonna be able to do great justice to yourself to feel good in the present moment because everything that you desire and everything that you want that you're thinking about inside of your head that you don't have already or happened already is in the past. So that means you can't change it. But what you're thinking about the future, everything happens in the present moment. So if you're able to live in gratitude now, live happier now, live in abundance now, you are creating the future now in this very moment. So that's why it's so important to catch these thoughts, catch these emotions and catch these feelings and, and work on them right now in this moment because this right now moment is creating the future that you so desire and you so want right so everything changes when you can take all of your focus and look at the good of, of all, everything that's happening to you right now because everything is is all taking you to higher levels inside of your life but sometimes we can be our own roadblocks right that makes us stat that be makes us become stagnant in life that you're going to keep learning the same you're going to keep getting the same experiences with different people in different situations in different scenarios because you're not learning the valuable lessons that you need to learn in order for you to level up and in order for you to attract 
the things that you desire because you're not making room for new things by learning those lessons, releasing it and letting go, right? And this is a hard reality that I had to learn inside of my life is to be grateful, right? For the lessons, whether it be good or bad, thank the people that are part of my lessons and, un and let go. Stop holding on to the memories of the past. Stop holding on to people. Stop, stop putting expectations on certain situations with people. Because at the end of the day, no one owes, I always say this on my videos, no one owes you shit. You came in this world by yourself, you're coming out of this world by yourself. The only person that you could put expectations on is yourself in a positive way, not in a negative way. Because when you're putting negative expectations on yourself or saying negative things to yourself and speaking negative words and asking the wrong questions, at the end of the day, you're just spir spiraling yourself into a digger and darker hole. And that's not doing you any justice to move forward. So it's, it's, it's knowing those key things that I just talked to you about to uplift you, to get you out of your funk, to understand that life is not happening to you, life is happening for you. I hope this video has inspired you and uplifted you in some sort of way. I always say in all my videos, each one, teach one, share the love, share the knowledge. All I'm trying to do is share my experiences with the world and uplift and inspire the world each day that I can, right? In any way that I can. So when you hear valuable things that I'm talking about right now, for sure can help you. It can for sure help somebody else. So please, you know, let me know your comments. Let me know what's your experiences that you maybe need some motivating and help and inspiring and that I can make a video to help you in some sort of way by sharing my energy and my love with you. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. If you guys like this video, please let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Let me know what your thoughts are. But hey, I have a I have an amazing community. Join join the Wise Up Rise Up community that I have started to uplift and inspire so many people all around the world. Right? You can catch me. I have a podcast called the Wise Up Rise Up podcast on Spotify and Anchor. You know, it, I give different content on there, and then I also have an amazing um, Instagram page. You can go check out Toronto underscore Tracy underscore Goldman. And then we have the, the the Facebook group, which is the Wise Up Rise Up Facebook group, keeping you inspired and uplifted and motivated every day and every way that we can. Make sure you join in, you guys. Take care, and I'll see you guys in another video. Keep inspired.